Man, that intro was amazing. Yes, it was. Thank you, Bruce. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a Power Ooh. Hour hot topic. This is not. Yeah, well, Reaction. this isn't a. This isn't actually a Power Hour. It's just a day adjacent to our shows. We're doing a pre-record video because there is a lot of news dropped. It's all I have time for tonight. I've been so busy having fun. Uh, my Maxine review is coming. I'm debating whether to do it after this or not before I go to bed. Uh, but I have more stuff to do tomorrow. But there's Guy Gardner and Hawk Girl images from the Superman what? Legacy set. Wait, I know did you the, say Hawk to a girl? Hawk to actually. There was an interview with her. Did you know they interviewed her? They found her. I, I saw that interview. Yeah, yeah. She's going to be making her own. Uh, she's hired an, an attorney and an IP lawyer or something, but I think it's going to be too late. <laughs> um, um, well, let's. Playgirl publishing or whatever. Yeah. Like, now, whatever. I have been more positive. I'm really loving what I'm seeing out of Superman. Um, yeah. The suit sold on the suit more so with the images that other people take than the one James Gunn prepares for the press. I'll be honest. And then we see this. Uh, and I'm not going to be negative. And I know, like, why do you have to compare? Are you just the cultist that you have to compare everything to a previous version? I got to say well, this. Wow, Max. We didn't, we didn't even talk about this beforehand, but these are our fresh reactions. Right now, I'm excited to see Hawk Girl. Um, now, Hot when girl. they first. Uh, Hot Girl? Hot Girl? Yeah, hot girl. Hawk girl. Hot, 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 hot. I would be interested to see not the a hot, hot to a girl. No, I would be interested to see a hot hot girl. I don't know if that's necessarily what we're getting. Uh, now I'm excited to see the character, but I gotta be we real. Um, I if I'm lying to myself if I don't agree with this comparison, the downgrade is insane. WTF? Well, now I, I like her mace. The mace is cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and I listen, I'm not going to like, I'm, I, you know, I don't, it's not anyone's fault how short they are or tall they are, or, you know, things like that. She's still a good person, you know, great person. It's just, yeah. I don't know. I would like something more intimidating for Hawk Girl. I'll be real. I kind of do want something more, you know, a little spicier. I for Hawk Girl. I mean, when you get to see Hawk Man there, that was a man. That's a man, you know? Well, you don't, get, you don't think she can do her job as a superhero? No, she could definitely I, No, she could definitely do her job as a superhero. But overall, and we'll be getting with the other shots too, um, the suits, I just without context of the movie, mm -hmm. I am not liking their suits at all. Well, at you know. All. Um, Mr. Terrific, I was grown on me. The more I've seen, and now I like Mr. Terrific. But now that I see how similar this Hawk girl and the guy Gardner are, but they just are like different colors, I'm like, oh, this is lame. Well, you gotta realize that what I, they're going. I, I see, I see what I see what they're going for. Uh Maxwell Lord is it's a Justice League sponsored team. So they're wearing his uniforms. With his with his company logo, and if you oh. notice in the middle of Hulk Girl's chest, there's a JL. Okay, that so that's is, that's more con. That's more corporate context. sponsored super yeah, team. That makes sense. So hopefully they don't stay that way, and they rip these costumes off and put on some cool ones. Uh, but it does like I really love like the old school superhero movies, but it has this has like the worst vibes from the old X Men like X Men One type suit for me. Um, that what I the helmet you can't get a good look at. I'm not sure about the helmet yet. It looks okay. Still nothing. I got to be real. Nothing compared to Hawkman. Hawkman was one of the best parts of Black Adam. Him and Doctor Fate and the J uh, Justice uh, League of America. Well, most of Black Adam's budget went to doing the, the CGI on that helmet. <laughs> but no, but, be, but being completely <laughs> honest, just based on this, I know this is a well that that's behind the scenes too. You see the person's hand there, but yeah. just you know, first reactions. We had Hawkman. We have now Hawk Girl. What do you think of this? The side by side with the with their their outfits and their costumes. Be honest, be honest. I know you're rooting for this one, but 
What? I'm just I'm just happy to get these characters in live action. I know, but this is what we do in movies. I don't I don't think it's that important for the way the costumes look. Yes, it is. I completely it's gonna look totally different when it's post production. I think you're giving excuses. I think you're giving me give excuses for James Gunn. Yes. Me, no, I mean, me, I mean, this me. is what you're supposed like, like when we're on when we're on a live stream, Bruce, and people say, well, why are you re- overly criticizing how an image looks? That is what movie talk is. That's what energy. I didn't did say you yeah. couldn't no, criticize no. the look. No, I'm just, I'm saying, just this- saying I can wait for but the, the context audience- of the movie. But the audience viewing this video right now in the comment section wants to know what the king of nerds honestly thinks i know you're just gonna wait for you're more concerned about the character but the costume isn't that great right this image although it is from the side i understand where they're going it's a corporate okay sponsored justice league team so of course they're not gonna have the comic accurate costumes just makes sense to me i don't know maybe it's just me and i've seen so many transformations of characters over the years in comics so, there are yeah, there are some things I like. I like her gloves and the mace is awesome. That's legit. Um, the helmet I'm not sure of yet. I have to get a different angle on the helmet. Uh, boots are okay. There's tons of pictures on. Yeah, out there. Uh, let me see. Here is another angle. Here's Guy Gardner. Guy Gardner. The hair looks great. That really? outfit like is that horrible. Hair? That no, I mean, if you're gonna do if you're gonna do Guy Gardner, that's the way to do bad. it. No, it's better than it's better than Clark's. I don't know. It looks like a really bad dye job to me. It's horrible. I, ju- I just really dis. There's something really bar- irking me about seeing a Green Lantern core in mostly white and just highlighted green. I don't like it at all. Corporate sponsored. I know. I get that. I get that. I get that. Hope may, potentially, you know, reading into it, maybe there's maybe they're not the corporate sponsor justice league for long you know may they turn yeah, on it, that it, 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 it falls in line with guy gardner's character being a douchebag and the hubris and self-centered and arrogant that he of course he would join a a corporate sponsor justice league because pretty much the real justice league wouldn't want him mm. <laughs> when they have such other better choices than lanterns mm-hmm. But this is the first image of Guy Garner. This is our first Green Lantern core character and James Gunn, the universe. Hang on, it's Nathan Fillion, so um, he gets a pass. Let me see what else I had here. Still still such a bad haircut. Now, Mr. Terrific, the more I see of him, he looks awesome. Like, his his costume looks pretty pretty accurate to the comics there, you know? Um. I mean, look, look at that hawk girl. That's amazing. Like, I would love to see, like, talons and stuff like that, too. That would be really cool. Um, Her helmet looks a little bit cooler there, that side. And then we get Guy Gardner again, who just, uh, his outfit looks awful to me. It really does. I would have preferred they popped it the pop They literally have matching uniforms. That's what I know, I know, but his looks like the worst. Like uh, at least at least Mr. Terrific has the difference differential on the shoulder pads, and it says fair play on the sleeve. That's so close to his actual comic book counterpart. Um, Hawk Girl has some more color, and his just looks so basic. You know, I don't like it. I don't like it. Hmm. Uh, let me see here. Oh, there's also Christopher Reeve's son will appear. Oh, his, his costume Superman. is horrible. Look at that. It's not even a double-breasted. Oh, wait, what? No, this is great. I love seeing James Gunn <laughs> giving a, you know, that's great. Yeah, I think that's this awesome. Cool. Look at James Gunn hugging Christopher Reeve's son. Love to yeah, see this, it. This meant a lot to Christopher Reeve's son. And I think James Gunn being a fan of the Reeves movies, you know, being able to pay homage. Oh, look, to RJ's in. RJ's in there in the comments section. Respect the legacy, love to see it. And then he says, 100% it's far more respectful way to honor Christopher Reeves than whatever the hell the Flash tried to do. I, I don't think I don't think RJ should mention the Flash. Stop, stop. No, no, that's fair. That's a fair criticism. That's a fair criticism, Bruce. 
Yeah, well, not with his history did. of the Flash. Love oh, you, God. RJ. Oh, oh, you mean? Oh, do you? Okay. Some. Well, uh, I, I to- we tolerate each other. No, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, the, but the the Flash. That's fair to criticize how they handled respecting the legacy. It's it's fair to criticize Warner Brothers yeah. across the board as how they respect their legacy actors uh, for their for their characters, all of mm-hmm. them. And I think they have dropped the ball. And it, this is great. This is a major improvement that James Gunn's already done. You know, this is like having George Lucas on the on the set almost. Not exactly. Oh, so, but, uh, so it'll be a bad movie then if it's no, no. Lucas. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no. All right, you know, because George Lucas sucks in writing. And here's okay. another scene of them on in the wire work. Uh, I know I recognize this. Like, I don't know about much about Mister Terrific, but I know I saw a comic panel or something with him like that. That jetpack. That's pretty cool. Um, also, a really look like even the animated uh, Hawk Girl looks a little better to me. Oh, stop with this comparing animation to. And she Black that's uh, that's my favorite version of Hawk Girl actually and Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. Um that but they're like doing 30 the... years ago. Stop. Okay, well, who is this character in the blue? Is that someone just helping them with the stunt work that's or is blue, that another blue screen guy? He won't be in the movie. Jeez. No, I mean like... no, no, no. You don't know that it could be potentially be another Ooh, who is that that's... gonna be? Seriously. I don't know. There's someone in the JSA, maybe it's Mr. Mispick Klitovic. No, stop, stop trying to say the name. I, I don't want to say is, the name. I don't like the not character. The Justice Society, the Justice League. No, it right. could be another character we don't know about that's going to be mostly CG stop. so they can interact. That's not uncommon, Bruce. Eh. That's not uncommon. They might have him there so they can well, easily that, take him out and he can interact. The case, if that was the case, he would have blue on his shoes too, just saying. Well, the, the, I mean, they're, 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 ah, shooting from, they're ah. shooting from the ankles up. So... I, I I honestly I don't know I don't think he's there to help them with the wire work I think it could be another character Yes, it's Mister Manhattan, Mister Manhattan. Uh, uh, it could be another character that we don't know about. Blue yet Devil, to, to, I don't know. No, there's lots of lots of characters it could yeah, be. Can we just call him Blue Screen Guy? All right. I mean, in the comments section below, uh-huh. let us know: Is this just someone helping on the set, or is this another voice Who's character right? that the maybe is PG character or the Madman? Maybe that's Crypto. Maybe that's the voice of crypto. I don't know. All right, let me see here. This cape looks amazing in action. Look at that. I think I still think the S should be bigger. I mean, the hope symbol should be bigger. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, let me see what else we got here. I think. Oh, I think that was all. There was one other thing. That I wanted to, sh- I don't know if I should do it because there's like, um, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. I tweeted a lot. Tonight. Aren't you supposed to be talking about the Guy Gardner? Oh, here Mr. it is. Man. Ah, he did a lot of scrolling. We'll have to, I don't want to play this because I don't want this copyright, but they played uh, okay. David Bowie's Starman here with the crowd. There's Guy Gardner. Oh, there, oh, there's Mr. Terrific. There's Hawk Girl. There's the kids running up to Superman. And this will continue uh, James Gunn's legacy of having great music. And with uh, honestly, that's a perfect track to have for yeah. uh, for for the scene, Starman. But yeah, it's def. At least they played it to the crowd. I would be I, shocked if that didn't make it to the final final movie or fi- you know with, for that scene? scene. Yeah, yeah, that has to be there. there there's. I don't think they're just doing. Yeah, it people. People, the... people love Superman and kids, and they've been no, but, getting back but, but to but that. The, but, the, but the David Bo- but the David Bowie song Starman. Oh. Huh. So I th- it's perfect for the situation. I don't think they're doing it just to get people in the mood for the scene. I think they're actually gonna. Ha- I think that's actually a hint at the soundtrack for Superman. I think that's definitely gonna be the the number one track. I'm also. I bet you the first trailer is gonna be Starman. I'll bet you five bucks now, Bruce. The first trailer that the, the track's going to be Starman. Well, now that I'm monetized again, I'll bet you this five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this, you know, great stuff. I am really disappointed on the look of those costumes. But Bruce is choosing the other half of the power hour is choosing to stay positive and say, 
I understand why their corporate sponsor Justice yeah. League by Maxwell Lord. I'm going with it. I don't care. I want to see the movie. It's good. I still don't like the costumes. I hope there's another version of the costumes for these characters. At least, at least, uh, at least this is a Superman movie, and they're not. It's oh. not a Justice League. It's oh, not now Justice you League. now you agree it's a Superman movie? For no, I mean, saying, no, I mean, too many characters. It, there's done. no, 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 no. There are a lot of characters in here, but if this was a Justice League, I will, I will take my criticisms down a notch because if this was just a if this was just a Justice League movie and not a Superman movie and they had those costumes, I'd be like really upset. But since this is a Superman movie with Justice League characters in it, mm -hmm. I will say, okay, let's see the context mm. of these suits. Who's in charge of this version of Justice League? If the corporate well, we, sponsor we next knew Lord. that and, the Justice League was going to be it, in it. And then hopefully if they get to a Justice League movie, the suits will be a lot better than that. Especially Green Lantern suits. Mm. You know, we've been waiting to get Green Lantern representation in DC for quite some time. And I want it to look fire. I don't want it to look like that. Well, I, I, the Lantern series is going to be a totally different. They're going to yeah, be I, they're going to be wearing the uniforms of the core. Yeah. So it's not going to be a corporate freaking suit like Guy Gardner is wearing. And who cares about Guy Guy Gardner anyway? He's the least favorite Lantern ever. Mm. I'm guessing this. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here for this clip out. Thank you for joining me and Bruce. Yay. This is all I had time for tonight. I'm going to go to get some rest. I still might film my Maxine review, but based on your background, uh, you liked. I didn't get to see the last episode of Acolyte yet. Good, good episode. I really enjoyed the episode. Mm -hmm. um, it's the way the writing is. It answers some questions, mm -hmm. but then it sets up more of a mystery, and you're like, "Wait, what?" So the next two episodes, are, next the last two episodes are pivotal to close out the story. We we know this is not going to be a cliffhanger, because she already said this is a self-contained season for the alkali. Cool. So, so uh, I, all right. Well, thanks again thing. for watching us. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that episode. I think I'm going to see it tomorrow or over on the weekend. And oh, look oh. out for the return of the Power Hour. With the monetized kingdom again next week. Yay! Probably this Tuesday. must be the, the fastest demonetization. Don't jinx it. Getting on. monetized again ever. You did, a great, you did a great job. You deserve it. Uh, thank thanks you, thank for you. watching, everyone. And tell us your thoughts on Guy Gardner, Hawk Girl, and all Hawk, that we discussed. Hawk Tua. Hawk Tua Girl. <laughs> all right. Bye, everyone.